Hello everyone still subscribed to me, I'm Cassius. Some of you might know me as Hayden, and after my last video, I got to thinking about other topics that have come up recently or that I've been contemplating for the longest now. So for those of you don't, that don't know, I am part of a system. I'm actually the co-host to that system alongside my co-host Bishop, who has posted on this channel before. System meaning I have OSDD 1B, a disassociative disorder caused by early childhood trauma that forms alters, usually without amnesia between fronting, but I'm actually learning recently that I do in fact have amnesia, specifically I have memory loss, and whether that's because of my OSDD is really up for debate. I've known about my system, specifically about Bishop, since my early tween years where he would front temporarily in stressful situations and he would usually escalate said situations since he has a major temper problem. Though I knew of his existence and others as well, I never really knew the official term for it. Not until recently, within the last like two years, I assumed Bishop was just well, honestly, something supernatural, sent or possessing me throughout hard times, which saying out loud is like, okay, yeah, whatever, Cash, you're really special. But I do realize that a lot of people with DID and OSDD, they go through the same thing. Since these develop early within childhood, it's hard to know exactly what's happening to you. It can be scary, especially since this forms through traumatic events. It can feel like something adding on to an already horrible situation. No matter how protective these new altars are, no matter how nice they are. And they're not always nice, is the thing. OSDD and DID is formed by the mind as a sort of defense mechanism, but that doesn't mean the new altar is going to be Superman. When Bishop started fronting more often, it led to a lot of dangerous situations. He fought with my parents, he nearly broke my fucking laptop, and um, one of the strongest memories I have of him is him taking a swing at my abuser when I was a child. It was stupid and unnecessary, and it led to an even worse situation that I had, was already in. I love Bishop and we have both grown tremendously, but OSDD and DID can be very scary. It usually is at first. For most of my teen years, I treated Bishop and my other alters as sort of really very loud OCs. I made ask blogs for them to express themselves under the impression that they were character blogs. I chalked Bishop up to my delusions manifesting, which I will get into eventually. Fun fact, being psycho is something. It's certainly something. I never really understood what Bishop was to me, and he never really cared to put a definition to it. He still doesn't. He actually doesn't like the term OSDD at all, but he's not the one talking right now, so whatever. This all changed when I met my boyfriend, Lou, and he opened a whole door to similar experiences and terms I had no idea existed. I was sitting there still calling it split personality disorder, which is like a really outdated term and one I held no connection with. But when Lou started describing situations I dealt with and experiences that I had as his own, I started to realize. Bishop wasn't just some unexplainable force, and we were not alone in the world. There were others who could hold our hands and guide us to understanding and coexisting with each other. And he can like it or not, but it led to us growing closer too. To me understanding Bishop's side of things, to him opening up to others and allowing himself to exist as a person. You can like the term, you can dislike it, you can use it, you can discard it, but there is something so special about sharing and experiencing life, sharing something that for 10 or 15 years you assumed you were all alone in and you would be forever. Knowing we weren't alone, it created a whole different life for us, and I have to thank Lou for starting that life. A uh, race. What an intro. Uh, it's less smooth than my last video, but let's talk about it. 
Uh, like I said in my last video, I am black, mixed, and race will always and has always played into any form of expression I have, any disability I live with, any disorder I exist with. Lou was wonderful for opening the door to OSDD resources and definitions, but I have to really shout out my black and brown system friends, my system of color friends. If you're white, you sort of exist in this world that molds itself in your image, and that's just how life is. Everything represented is white, unfortunately. Mental health is white, disability has a white face, gay culture, trans culture, it's got a white mascot when you just look it up on Google. But for me, I cannot express openly my experiences with OSDD with a white mask. Bishop's anger put us in the position of a angry black woman and man when we started to transition. Black people know that mental health and disorders are heavily stigmatized in black culture and community. And that's because of the lack of representative, representative we have and how dangerous it is for those who are mentally ill and black, who have mood disorders and are black, who have DID and OSDD and are black. It's too dangerous, so you have to hide it. That's just the consistence in, within the community. But this, choosing between being black and having OSDD was a choice I no longer have to make. I don't have to hide my brownness when I go into system spaces or vice versa, because I was lucky enough to find the brown system community through good friends, a very good friend in particular, who offered me a invite to the community that changed my life just like Lou opening the door changed it before. I don't have to pick which one I am. I'm both proudly. Bishop and I exist together proudly and we are black proudly. Community when you feel all alone in your childhood is healing in small ways you don't even notice until you go look back and go, wow, yeah, fuck that life forever before. I don't use the label OSDD often because, again, Bishop is a little bitch about it, but mostly because, honestly, it's been such a constant in my life. And though I adore the community that I'm in now and the resources I have because of the label, it's never been anything but normal for me. This is just how we live our lives daily. Sometimes Bishop is here, sometimes I am, sometimes someone else is. We have the same friends, the same family, we live together happily, coexisting, and now we do so more openly than before. It's good to be open, and I love Bishop and all of my system members. Oh, for the most part. Okay, maybe I just love some, but you know what? Don't even worry about it, alright? 